Hi, I hope you all are doing well and ready for a new AWS service. So today we are finally going to do some Route 53 stuff. More specifically, we are going to create a Route 53 health check. I've used Route 53 health checks in some of my earlier projects to monitor uptime for some production applications. I found it very convenient to get notified immediately if an application crashed or was unavailable for some reason. And of course, I also liked how easy it was to configure and connect to other services such as CloudWatch with CloudWatch alarms and SNS topics for distributing the alarm event onwards. Lastly, I just have to mention that it's also quite cheap to use. Okay, so all these features are quite nice, but uh, at a more technical level, what does it actually do? Well, what it does is, for example, monitoring a specific endpoint. It does that by sending HTTP requests to the endpoint in fixed intervals. If it gets a success response, it marks the endpoint as healthy. If not, then it marks it as unhealthy. This would occur if the response code is, for example, in the 400 or 500 range, or if it's not responding at all. With that out of the way, let's start creating the health check. First, go over to Route 53 and open Health Check. Then click Create Health Check. Give the health check a name, I'll call mine birds-api. As I mentioned, Route 53 health checks can be used to monitor an endpoint, but it can also be used to monitor other health checks and even the state of a CloudWatch alarm. I'm going to monitor an endpoint for this demo. The next step now is to choose how we shall specify the endpoint. By IP address or domain name. I'll use domain name. This is because I have already a domain I have bought. You can just use any domain you want. You don't need to create or purchase your own. I'm just using my own domain because then I'm not spamming someone else's domain, which might not be that popular with the domain owners. My domain is configured here in a Route 53 hosted zone and I have created a record here which I'll just copy and paste into the health check. In a future video I can go through the steps of configuring a domain using Route 53 and hosted zones. But for now just think of this as any other domain you want to create a health check for. Next, you can see that this record routes traffic to some other service. This links the record to this API gateway. And yes, this is the same as we have created in a previous video. All you need to know about this API gateway is that there is an endpoint called birds, which can accept a path parameter. The path parameter will then be used to query this DynamoDB table. I'll just copy an object ID from this table and then go back to the health check and under path write birds slash and then the object ID. Oh, I also use HTTPS as protocol since the domain does support that. The port is then automatically updated to port 443. Before we continue, if you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. Next, we should take a look at the advanced configurations. Here you can, for example, adjust the request interval, change the failure threshold and add string matching, etc. Keep in mind that every feature you add will come at additional cost. Also, the HTTPS protocol is considered an advanced configuration and will come at a small extra cost. 
you can click on View Pricing if you want to have a look at what each feature costs. Anyways, I'll click Next now. The choice we get now is if we want to create a CloudWatch alarm for this health check. I want that, so I'll hit Yes. Now we need to either choose an existing SNS topic or create a new one. I have already created an SNS topic called Health Check. This SNS topic is just a standard topic, but it has to be located in the region US East 1, since the CloudWatch alarm will be located there. Every time the alarm gets triggered, the CloudWatch alarm will send a notification to this SNS topic. We can now go back to the Route 53 health check and hit Create. We can see that the health check is green and has run once. If you remember, we set the request interval to 30 seconds. So we'll get a report every 30 seconds, which is what these dots represent. I said earlier that the health check is green, but what does that mean? When would it not be healthy? By default, health checks are healthy or green if the HTTP status code we get in response from the endpoint is either in the 200 or 300 range. If the response code is in the 400 or 500 range, it will be red or unhealthy. If the status code is not enough for you to comfortably say that the API endpoint works as intended, you could add some advanced options, as I talked about earlier, such as string matching, etc. Now, what about that CloudWatch alarm? Well, if we click on the Alarms tab, you can see it there, along with the status saying OK. We can also see it if we go over to CloudWatch. Remember that both the SNS topic and CloudWatch Alarm is located in the US East 1 region. So if it doesn't show up, make sure you are in that region. As expected, the alarm is green since the health check has the status healthy. So just to trigger the alarm, I'm going to delete the record which I'm asking for in the health check request endpoint. I'll do that by going over to the DynamoDB table, find the matching record, delete it, and go back to CloudWatch again. Now we just have to wait for the health check to run again. I'll just stop the video here for a second. And now you can see that the alarm is triggered since the health check is no longer healthy. We can also see the status of the health check if we go over here. So this is where the SNS topic comes in. Whenever the CloudWatch alarm is triggered, a message is automatically sent to the SNS topic. For now, I have not yet implemented any subscribers for this SNS topic. But here you could, for example, connect your email address to get an email every time the alarm is triggered or create a Lambda function, which can subscribe on a topic and do some processing with the events. One thing that I found very handy is the AWS chatbot. It can subscribe on an SNS topic and forward the message to, for example, messaging apps such as Slack. We have now a functioning health check, which can notify us as soon as something is wrong with an endpoint. In the next video, I'll show you how to create a custom domain for an API gateway. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy coding!